Yeah, we all know that uh, California is uh, tricky with some of its firearm laws. Um, I will say in California's defense, it's uh, mid-December right now, and the weather's in the high 50s, maybe low 60s. Uh, nearly perfect weather. Um, so we do have that going for us. Uh, but one of the answers that uh, has come around for uh, states that have restricted uh, rifle rules based on features is the uh, SCR, Fight Light Industries. <clears throat> Basically, it's a lower receiver that's uh, very similar to a uh, semi-automatic shotgun, but with the added magazine well, and it accepts the AR-15 pattern upper receiver. So any kind of AR upper you want to put on here, you can. You get the same accuracy that you would out of an AR. Functionally, it's exactly the same with the exception of the bolt, which is a little bit different because there's no buffer tube. Uh, there's a little rat tail. But <clears throat> in terms of the low receiver, there's a couple of problems. Number one is the safety. It's the uh, cross bolt safety, similar to what you'd find on a shotgun. So you just have to learn to manipulate it with your trigger finger instead of with the thumb like the standard AR. And then the other problem is the magazine release. So one of the things we've uh, looked at is we've taken this quasi-extended magazine release and we've faced it so that the extended edge is towards the leading edge of the uh, magwell. So what that allows us to do is with our uh, support hand, come back, hit it to drop the magazine, then acquire the new magazine and reload and go back to work. Let's give it a try. Not quite as ergonomic as an AR-15, but if this is all you have to work with, it's certainly uh, workable. <laughs> 